Uh, by the way, I don't know if you guys heard it. I put it in Slack, but Joe Judge can explain part of their struggles. Every single stadium this year, home and away, I've had issues personally. Is that your staff? Look, I, I don't know. Look, I, I don't want to make this all about headsets. We have things. I'd say this. Whoever's in charge of it, whoever the guys co- who – look, Jordan, I don't know the exact answer. I don't think that comes more through the league or us exactly, but they better fix it fast. Yeah, that's it. That's, I, look, I'll get you all the details and stuff later on who does all that stuff. You know, we get the communication back. We say, hey, listen, these things have been an issue. And then we get told they've adjusted this, they've done this, they've done this, whatever it is. Like like I said, we've tried to adjust and use different hardware. It hasn't been allowed, so we'll keep on moving on. Again, look, I don't want to make this about stupid headsets. That's not what this is about. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't the factor in the game. we got to do other things on our own to make sure we have success. Wait, what? So if it's is not an serious? issue, why are you bringing it up? Like, don't even mention it. it did, did he bring that up by himself? I don't know. I don't know what the the question was. I'm sure I would like to think that someone prompted him to to answer that question. But look, man, here's the thing: if the headsets aren't working, somebody probably said, "How are you so bad at managing the clock?" (laughs) And I'm sure he just went on that tirade. Let me ask you this: if the headsets have been a problem for seven straight weeks for you as the head coach, would you have a backup plan like hand signals, signs? I mean, like if we we had podcast audio issues and Debo took care of it, right? Like he's like found a way, like to have like. For like, like break arms to get these road cat to get these like this nice equipment for us. I mean, you're you're running a football team, bro. When you when you start blaming the headsets, that's probably the sign that you shouldn't be a head coach anymore. It's worth yeah. noting though, the the league handles all the communication, so that's not the Giants. Like he, that's what he was trying to say. But even still, if they're not working, have a backup plan that is old school manual. Whether it's a sheet of paper, whether it's like I said, hand signals. Like you could call out and say twenty seven, and you look on your on your what wristband if, for 27. What if the NFL looks into this and they're like, Joe, the headsets shut off at the 15 second mark, bro. Like, <laughs> every I mean, every other coach idea. knows that. But he's the only one who's had issues with the headsets. And he said home and away. By the way, Jason Garrett's like, my headsets haven't worked for 10 years. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's right. Jason Garrett said, is that what talking about this? Uh, yeah, that's, what, that's, that's when you fall to two and six and you realize it. And, and here's the thing is that it's, I, I I think that it's likely, I guess, that the owner, the giant ownership group will fire Dave Gettleman. And if they fire Dave Gettleman, one would hope that they're smart enough to also move on from Joe Judge because, you know, you just can't have him, you know, you can't have Joe Judge coming back for a third year and Dave Gettleman's fired. Uh, Art Stapleton uh, says, Joe, tweeted, Joe Judge says he threw his headset down after the fake field goal because the Giants did not execute the right way. This was back in October 2020. Oh, oh, this is from, oh, sorry, Debo. Oh, Debo has a theory that he broke it in October of last year and they haven't fixed it since. <laughs> that's a great theory. I mean, oh, how that's you know, hilarious. Here's, here's what I always come back to, and Breach brings this up because I bring it up all the time. How is Bill Belichick responding to that question? How's Mike Tomlin responding to that question? How's Andy Reid well, responding I mean, to that Tomlin question? Is, Mike Tomlin has complained about the headsets in Gillette Stadium, but, but that's probably something that's real. And you never hear anybody else you never hear anybody else complain about headsets like this i don't even know again it doesn't matter if the question was how much do you hate headsets and how much did it factor into the the loss today you just say it's not an issue we're talking to the league and you move on belichick would have just somebody said well why'd you botch the timeouts and belichick would have said i did what's best for the team right it's my fault we didn't coach well enough we didn't play well enough we'll get better he wouldn't have blamed the NFL and thrown him under the bus for seven weeks of non-headset functioning. 